Errors are fun to find. I have 10 models. Can you spot what's the error? So how many errors did you see out of the 10 cars? Did you see the error on each one? I know that one was uh, kind of tricky to see. A second one, I was kind of tricky with the camera. I'll get to those as we look at each one. Now this Pagani Waira, right here, it's got some flashing in the wheel. For me, uh, yeah, technically this is an error because it's not supposed to be released like that. But this is not the kind of error that I really would want to buy anymore. Uh, unless it was like a special car. Otherwise, I really don't like seeing these errors. To me, they're unattractive, but if you like to collect them, that's fine. It's up to you. Uh, that's, uh, I should have said, that's flashing. So that's, that's known as kind of like a flashing error where part of the metal didn't get removed during the manufacturing process. This doozy, this was pretty easy to see. It's missing, it's missing the whole back axle. Doesn't have the axle, doesn't have the two rear tires. 31 doozy. Unfortunately, you won't see the doozy this casting anymore because it was a final run back in 2003. This one right here, this one was released, uh, this looks like about 1999 it would have been about. The Pagani Waira, it was uh, new in 2013. Doozy. In 2003, a final run, so you will not see this casting anymore. And same with this Porsche Carrera. It was also a 2003 final run. So, unfortunately, you won't get that one either. This one here, the year that it was released. I don't see the date. Should have been uh, 1998. So, it, it might have been a 1999. Oh, as a matter of fact, 1999 Extreme Speed Series. 
So this one's kind of cool. Did you see the error? These kinds of errors are really neat to get. Uh, look, it's got a big wheel up front and a small wheel in the back. It's supposed to have the big tires in the back. Look, I have a couple other ones right here. You can see it's got the big tire in the back and the small one up front. So it's either that the wheels got mixed up or the base is put on backwards. So when we look at the base, and this is why you'll, this is not unusual to get this error. Because when you look at the base, it, it looks the same either way. So when they put them together, sometimes they just put the base on backwards. Now I have these other two, so let's see which way they go. Here you have, it's upside down Malaysia, upside down. Upside down. So since it looks like the base is proper for that, it looks like they put the wheels in backwards in the base. But like I said, it's not an unusual error to find. Rescue Ranger, come on. Anybody can see that one. The, the, we call this, or I call it a flipper. I don't know if it was called flipper before or if I just started calling it a flipper. But yeah, it's just flipped around in the blister. Again, it's not an error that I would collect. But you know, it's kind of an interesting conversation piece if you like to collect. It gives you something to talk about. Here you have this one here. Now I showed three super, <coughs> excuse me, three super modifieds. I'll start with this one here. That one, maybe you didn't know what the car was supposed to look like to begin with. So maybe you didn't notice, know that it was supposed to be missing a wing. But then when I showed you this one, then you see that spoiler, right? This one, this one's totally missing. This one, it's not popped on there properly. So when you open it up, you could put it on. And this one here, you can see it is properly put on. Yeah, but where's the error? Well, super modified, cool car, but it's it's not a Ferrari 355 challenge. So that car error, errors are not exactly rare either. They happen from time to time, but you kind of need to get one with the Ferrari on the car, especially now that apparently Mattel is not going to be doing Ferraris for a while. 32 Ford delivery. This casting is still in the lineup. By the way, super modified. I got a little ahead of myself. Super modified right here. If you look at the spoiler in the back, the model is still in service, but they have changed the wing. You can see the new wing has the, basically it's clipped on from side to side. When the old version, the clip was put on from front to back, it was clipped on. Comes off really easy. So now they have this one. You can tell it has more of a grip on the metal. So I assume that this one stays on a lot better. Now back to the 32 Ford delivery. Yeah, you've seen that part loose in the blister. That's the grill. It's supposed to be popped in that hole. It's supposed to be going right there. And it just, it just popped out. So those are kind of neat to have. Loose parts, yeah. These, these things are the kind of errors I like to collect as well. The super modified, that was not unusual to get them with missing spoilers or they're them being loose like that. Now this is the one, uh, the one that I said was kind of tricky. I was sneaky that you might not have seen it. This is the one that was sneaky because I only kind of flashed the Ferrari uh, just for a moment. This one's hard to see. Here you have the Batman Batmobile. And if you look at the wheel, on the wheel, it doesn't have the chrome all the way around the wheel. The chrome's coming around right here. And then up on this lip right here, there's no chrome. And these are the kinds of things that people say, oh, that, oh, see this is, you can see it pretty good right here. It's black. So I don't know if you can see it. It's black right there and it's not fully chrome. So, you know, people like to collect those. Mm, it is not an error that I would necessarily collect myself anymore, but it is cool that it is on a Batmobile. Here we have the 79 Ford F-150. And this is another one where it had flashing in the window See, this one I don't like because if a kid buys the Pagani wire and that flashing is there, the, it will not roll because it's jammed against the tire. But this one had flashing in the window. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's almost like you're at the drive-in and you got that little speaker box. Oh, drive-ins, they were this thing a long time ago, if you don't know. But the little speaker box, you put it right on the window and then you can hear the movie through that. Or maybe in the old, old days had the air conditioner to where the wind would blow in and then it would take the wind into, I don't know what those are called, wind cyclone or something, I'm not sure. But this flashing kind of error is interesting to me. Not the ones where the wheel gets all jammed up. Uh, by the way, I showed you that before I get to the last one. I showed you the biohazard with it flipped over. Yeah, look, I told you it's not unusual for things to be flipped over into the, in the blister. 
Uh, it happens. Uh, nowadays, I guess they get they try to get blisters to be a, a little bit closer to the size of the model. And last up, the 79 Ford F-150. I talked about the flashing, but uh, lastly, there was the close encounters of the third kind, kind in the retro entertainment release. Well, this one they call a F-150. This one called a F-250. And uh, I'm not a Ford guy, so I don't know what the difference is between a 150 and a 250, but they are not the same casting. Uh, they are very, very similar on the sides, uh, very similar. Now, this is an adult collectible casting, so this is going to be metal, so that doesn't count as a difference. Uh, it's very hard to see any difference. Two, four, six slats in the front, pretty much the same as far as the front grill. But the main difference is the back, where this one here, this is, there's no tailgate here. That plastic you see is actually part of the camper shell. It comes down. And you may be familiar with the Sam Walton version that was part of Jukebox. I believe that's also a plastic piece of the interior that sticks out for the, uh, that, so the tailgate is opened up. Well, for the Close Encounters F-250, it's solid metal. This is solid metal, and it also has a Ford logo on there, whereas this one does not. So it's a, it's a different, different casting, um, and Mattel calls this a 250. And this one's the 150. If you know what the difference is, a 150 and a 250, let me know. Also, how many errors did you find? How good were you? 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10? 8? If you did 8 out of 10, that's that's very, very good. And if you did better than that, then of course, that that's even better. Any of your favorite errors in the bunch? My favorite, uh, sorry, I'm a big fan. While I like that Ferrari error. I was real sad to see the 31 doozy go to the final run series and it will not be seen again. So this is my favorite out of the bunch, especially since it's missing the whole wheel and the whole axle. How about you? Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Oh, I almost forgot. I got an errors playlist. So when you see this thing bump up and it says errors playlist, you can click on that and you can see all my other error videos that I have made. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.